hey, I think everything should be working now. So the theme of this stream is to make a vertical painting. And I, I think this is a challenging composition to get done. But the reason why I want to get at least one more painting done like this is to have um, more items for my wallpaper set that I'm still working on. And it's been such a busy week that I need to get some progress on this. Otherwise it will just never get done. This is not okay with me. So I'm painting on the wrong layer. Um, so on top of this thing there's an overlay layer and I'm gonna use that later for texture. I'm not going to use just this blend mode. I'm gonna use um, several different blend modes. But I'm just gonna keep the texture there to have a reference point every now and then to see how it will affect the final outcome. What I wanted to do for some time now is to just have some like um, doodles of very simple looking fish and then maybe do some coral reefs or colorful behind it but in a like more illustration style than a realistic painting style. Also, um, hey Ritesh. Maybe I should have like put a notification on Instagram that I'm doing a live. Definitely. <laughs> Got have something ready for this. I'll delete it later. This is like the worst story page that I've ever done, but at least it's something. I have a specific idea what I want this fish to look like. I just want it to be looking like a friendly character in the sea and everything else is just like surrounding it. Maybe not so high up in the painting. Or maybe in the middle. But that could be interesting. I'm gonna put snapping on just the where the center of the whole thing is. Usually I would never advise to do this under any certain in a painting, but I'm gonna make this the main thing of this illustration. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just trying out something right now. But if it works, then it will be based on breaking a composition rule. Oh, the angry mob has arrived. <laughs> you didn't even notice that. Um, I'm gonna mute the camera a little bit. Otherwise, just need to be in the corner all the time. Uh, Roger is saying, um, Hi Mikko, I really like your last landscape video. Thank you. It was a lot of editing. <laughs> oh my god. I guess that's why I wanted to do like a smaller piece right now, because the last one, not just the painting, but that video really. pushed my editing skills, because there was so much of it. I know it might seem like there's not that much of a difference between doing a 20 minute video or a 30 minute video, but every minute kind of that you add to the video gets multiplied because you need to keep re-watching the same footage over and over again in the editing phase, in the audio edit and sound design and then applying all the effects to the footage and then cor color correcting it and every time you will be watching that extra 10 minutes of footage so in the end 
even though it's just 10 minutes more than normally, that means that it's probably just a whole extra day of editing because of the length. I'm using the Nikko Ral brush, it's uh, this one with the rainbow in it, and I just realized that I kind of started painting accidentally and I want to keep this more in the realm of a drawing, so I need to be careful of how I use this brush. I'm going to be using the texture and the opacity just to find the right colors. I'm going to try and refrain from using it for painting. There's already so much text in a few seconds that I was drawing. Um, it's 6 a.m. here, so I can't have my audio on, but I'm watching. <laughs> so you can't hear me saying this. I'm getting an iPad Pro soon. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. Um, I remember just like putting it off for a really long time because let's face it, iPads are super expensive and I was worried that me wanting to buy an iPad is just this sort of like gadget craze that I sometimes have, that I see something that I really would like to have and but then when I buy it, it's something that I won't end up using that much. For this channel I have bought so much camera gear and equipment that it's definitely an issue that I need to be sure that it's something that I will actually use and not just something that, that seems like a pool <laughs> which is different, not usable. So I'm gonna change the eraser also to the Nicoral brush. So, everything consistent. But getting an iPad was definitely one of those things that has changed my painting a lot. Not the style itself, but the productivity that I can paint it anywhere. So before that I was just mostly painting at work and not really getting so much of my own paintings done. Sometimes it's great when you are working on a project that is um, nothing that you can be really excited about, but not all projects are like that. Sometimes it's just a, 
I don't know, shooter. <laughs> it's hard to get excited about shooting games. For me. I'm not trying to speak for everybody. Anyway, it was a lot of money and there are a lot of options for iPad, so I definitely recommend figuring out which option suits your budget, because more expensive doesn't mean better. Like for example, for me, I have no intention of paying for the um, what is it, the 5G version of the next one, the one that you can put your own phone chip in it, because using internet with your phone on the iPad is so easy that like it's definitely not worth the added extra cost and it takes like zero amount of time to press one button to get that extra access click. Another recommendation that I would have regarding this is that don't pay too much for um, insane storage space unless you're like me and you have tons of video footage on your iPad because I do YouTube videos and I used to edit all of my YouTube videos on this iPad. But that is the only situation where I would recommend investing into storage space but otherwise it's one of the most expensive things that you can have on an iPad and it's not the most safest way to store your data anyway. So Apple Cloud, is it Apple Cloud? iCloud? The cloud service that backs up all of your data, it's much more affordable and safer way of saving data, so that's one area where I definitely recommend saving a lot of money and doing it in a smarter way. Most people don't do video editing. Be happy about that. Not suitable for everybody. I'm pretty happy with this already. I just wanna get some like um, blocking into the background and then um, go from there. Actually, yeah, maybe it's just for this. I'm not gonna make it symmetrical, but for this blocking in, I might use this uh, drawing. Right? underwater mandala already. <laughs> chat. Apparently it's not auto-scrolling. Somebody's saying, I think iPad for beginner is too expensive, you should buy Intos Wacom if you have Photoshop. Definitely disagree with that. Definitely. Definitely, as a long time Intos user. And Photoshop is insanely expensive. You will pay for the price of the iPad with the subscription of Photoshop. And this is coming from somebody who is paying for the full Creative Cloud license every month.
lemon jelly saying I really struggle with color, the values are too strong or all over the place. Do you have any tips? I recommend that you set up your iPad so you can do the power button trick so that you can um, see the values by just press of a button. And then sometimes check the values by looking at the picture in black and white. And then fix it. <laughs> fix it. something um, done with this idea before I can focus on anything else. Sorry, this is the part of the painting where I need to do like design work and kind of o occupies my brain for the duration that I'm doing it. And this is not tied to the symmetry, so I have some blocking in already in the piece, so I can start making some individual rocks, maybe some brains plants in the foreground. How did you come up with the concept of this artwork? <laughs> uh, if you have seen any of my paintings in live streams before, I have no idea. I just came up with the symmetry idea a few seconds ago. But I love underwater stuff. I've been playing a lot of the Subnautica recently, and it's so damn scary at times, so I thought that Maybe for my soul it would be nice to have some like friendly underwater stuff before I continue and keep being terrified of everything in there. It's a great game though. By the way, this, uh, I think, three-hour playlist is a music that was in the playlist that I had in consideration for my previous video. So it's three hours of music, out of which I cut down everything to 30 minutes.
regarding the Photoshop thing, I don't hate Photoshop. Like for example, all of my um, thumbnails on my channel, they're all done in Photoshop. I could do them on Procreate, but it's just faster in Photoshop. But that's not painting, that's more like graphic design. Or if you need to do any sort of photo editing, Photoshop is better for that. But it's not better for painting because of all the clutter in the program. And the reason why I like Procreate more is just because the UI is better suited for painting. There's no like extra unnecessary stuff in there. And I know that a lot of people watch tons of these like app reviews on YouTube, but I think that whole comparison can be misleading. Just because some application has more feature doesn't mean that it's better suited for more things. I do think that at this stage there's a specialization happening. Even Adobe now has their own painting application. I think it's called Fresco and it's more geared towards like uh, painting on the tablet. When it was first released it was terrible but they might have fixed it by now but it also has a monthly subscription. And just because it's more expensive doesn't mean better. I think this is something that a lot of uh, young artists have at this misconception that if they pay more money for their application that they will get like better results with it. This is not true. And especially for learning, I would recommend to get the software that is focused on the thing that you want to learn so that you won't have to spend half of that time trying to learn how some kind of like program works. Eleven, 11 euros a month is cheap, <laughs> but that depends on your income. When I was a student, 11 euros was like a budget of three days of food for me.
So now I'm going to do the inverted selection um, reduction that is so tricky that it always messes me up. I'm going to try and talk you through it because this is something that I learned just a few weeks ago when I was doing the um, escape artist painting. I used this thing to reduce the size of the bars so that the house would look more like a prison. So now I'm going to do tap this layer and select the layer and then I'm gonna go and invert the selection with the invert button next to copy and paste and remove. Now I have inverted selection so I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm going to fill this layer with a color. Okay. So because I want these rays to kind of be thinner, I'm gonna duplicate this layer and then slightly add a Gaussian blur to it. A Gaussian blur. Just a few percent. Like so. Copy it once more. Okay. Now I'm going to select the upper layer and then turn this layer off and go back to the rays and then... Damn it. <laughs> now I can still do it. And then I'm gonna add mask from this selection. Now the mask is inverted so I'm gonna go here and then just press invert. And this way I got like inner streaks, which is more in line with what I wanted. How long have you been painting for? Sapper uh, is asking. Depends on what you mean by that. I was always in an art school when I was a kid, and I was always painting when we were living abroad. But do you mean like professionally or for money? That's a thing that I could probably answer more accurately.
Hello from the stabby person in Oulu. Uh, there's this person who said, uh, looks like the chat has stalled. Anyway, uh, the person from Oulu said in one of their Instagram stories that they're gonna go and stab people after watching one of my videos. But that person is a tattoo artist, by the way, with a really cool um, Instagram gallery. Is it colder in Oulu than here? I would imagine so, because Oulu is really high up in Finland. And here, um, there's so much snow that sometimes you're just like wading through the snow with your knees deep in snow. I mean, Vivi is not that big of a dog and sometimes she just sinks in there. Thank you, Atticus. Uh, watching you work has really helped with losing up my brush strokes. Did you ever have problems with your work to begin with? Yes. <laughs> have they ever stopped is a better question. No, art really doesn't get any easier over time. You just get used to it, it being hard and maybe even can hopefully at some point appreciate it for being so difficult. Because that's what keeps it interesting. So I like the unpredictability of this. I guess that's the reason why some client work can be um, less fun. If, if the client is not flexible with letting me have any of my own ideas in the painting, then you're just like doing the manual labor. But I do think that they are getting more out of the whole deal if they kind of let me have my own creative input in the painting and just do my stuff. If they just want uh, everything in their laundry list of things that they want to have in a painting, they could probably get that cheaper from somebody else.
I'm still trying to find colors that I can kind of get the mood that I want in this piece. And it's already been 30 minutes, so it gives me some pressure. I just read Kalim's comment and it's like too embarrassing for me to read out loud. And it just seemed like I'm complimenting myself, but thank you. <laughs> I'm too finished to read that out loud. Um, I just bought an iPad Air, which I've heard great things about. I couldn't afford the Pro. Do you think it's a big deal? Uh, um, 11 inch screen versus a 12.9 inch one. No, I don't think it's a big deal at all. I was actually thinking of making a video out of this because there are some rumor rumors that Apple might possibly be making a bigger version still of the next iPad, which I'm kind of skepti skeptical about because while I might like to have it for this channel, specifically for this channel, not for myself to paint. I really wouldn't need that big of a screen, but let's say that it's a um, 20 inch screen. No, that's completely insane. 15, if they release a 15 inch uh, iPad, the only reason why I would consider buying it is because on this channel, on my videos, when I'm shooting myself painting, that would make my hand look smaller and it would allow for more screen space in the videos. That's the only reason I would get it. And I know for a fact that if I do such a choice, then some people who are watching my channel will think that this is a better, more professional choice for an iPad because Mikko is using it. And that's not at all the case for myself. I would only ever need to use this screen, or if I had less money, I would use the 11 inch one because it's just as good for painting. Honestly, I've spent a lot of time in the last few weeks painting on the... on this, on my phone. And this phone is like big enough for painting, so 11 inch is a lot bigger than that. What you should never do is something that I do a lot in this uh, uh, illustration is zoom in this much. So I hope you understand that this is only because I am streaming in horizontal format. So me holding the screen vertically would uh, look really bad on this stream. 
and that's why I need to zoom in more, but I don't recommend zooming in this much ever. Because even now I'm wasting a lot of time on some of these like smaller areas that don't contribute that much to the visual impact. And it's harder to keep track of the composition when I'm zoomed in this close. So I honestly think that the fun of something like this comes from the fact that when you look at it, it really is something that anybody could do. And I think that's true. I think any one of you could do this same illustration. And I think the hardest part is to just restrain from policing it too much. To keep it light. I think that light feeling is uh, something that people can feel when they look at the piece. I don't know if this is true, but for me it is. When I look one of look at one of these illustrations that are more you know, fun, it, it makes me smile. And that's the effect that I want to have on someone. And if someone like uh, ends up buying this uh, wallpaper pack and uses this on their phone, I think it's something that might make them smile when they look at it. That's how I have chosen my own uh, wallpapers. Right now I want to show you um, everything on the screen first. Right now I have this uh, uh, painting as my wallpaper. It's uh, from one of my live streams. and. I like the kind of looseness in that. I didn't uh, kill it by polishing it after the live stream was over. So now when I look at it, it kind of makes me smile that it has this kind of. I'm trying to figure out what the sentence would be as describing it. I can see how it would feel like for me to paint that painting when I'm looking at it. I haven't hidden all the evidence of the painting process by polishing it. Okay, that's more <laughs> like it.
there's a question about an Android tablet and I'm sorry but I, I can't afford to have multiple tablets so I, I can't really give any advice on that. If I had an Android tablet then maybe I could like recommend some software. Is Clip Studio Paint available for Android? If it is, then I recommend that. In a piece like this it really helps to have the elements on separate layers, especially since this is meant to be a wallpaper, I don't need endless amounts of resolution, so I can use that extra memory for layers. With the landscape painting that I did, that was a huge like battle for memory every step of the way.
think the whole reason why I don't want to focus too much on layers in uh, paintings that have that sort of a goal of having a very high resolution version. Because I did uh, make Arms of uh, Eternity specifically for print, so that it's on my print shop. But that requires a lot of like planning of how you can have temporary layers so that you can do all the extra stuff like color editing in the end. And I think that would just be like way, way outside the scope of any single video. But that's one thing that applies to quite a lot of my paintings. I usually have a lot of like temporary layers and those would be really difficult to explain in a video format because they happen so often and they are so irrelevant to the whole process that they are just there to be either a safety net or give editing options for later. And they might be there for like a second and then they are gone. Mikko, are you going to draw more pixel art soon? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, right now I'm just trying to get um, the remaining work stuff done so that I have some of my own own time as well. Because those uh, sponsored videos that I did they had a timeline when they needed to be finished. And also I did that um, while working on commission stuff at the same time. So the reason why I said on my Instagram stories one day that I'm not going to take any more commissions for the whole rest of January is because it was just getting too stressful for me. I thought that I need to have time where I can just paint basically for myself and I want to make videos that are not sponsored videos so that I can monetize those. That's also important because I need to keep make sure that uh, the channel is funded so I can keep it going. But also I need to like pay attention to the fact that I can keep painting fun for me, because otherwise this will all have been pointless.
Um, at first it seems like you are making random strokes, a Chong Wong is saying, uh, but it all came together so nicely at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's just as scary for me as it is for you, I'm sure. Especially during a live stream. Sometimes it will happen that I will just be completely out of ideas after the whole live stream is over and then I will just have to live with that, I guess. But if I was too afraid of that, then I would never do live streams, so I can't get that sort of stuff stop me from trying. Do we use any kind of reference when drawing? Depends on the drawing. If it's something that um, I need to do a drawing specifically and not a painting, if it's something that I haven't done before, then of course, bring like as much reference. You can never really have too much reference. It will help you learn it. You can't learn something that you haven't put into your muscle memory yet. It just doesn't come out of nowhere. You would have to put it in there first. I guess it, like if priority for this painting would be, for example, to have um, realistic underwater plants, then I would have reference for that. But it's not, so I just think it's more fun to invent these plants on my own. That way I can kind of like keep focused on the style and the composition.
Mikko, are you only using one brush? Yes, Mikko Rao. So these dots that I'm now doing are on a separate layer and I want these to kind of like bleed like uh, fiber optics into these cubes. So I'm going to copy that layer, set it as a clipping mask to the cubes themselves and then add a Gaussian blur. Small one because I need to edit. Now I can kind of keep leading in and try how it looks in additive mode. Is saying that they don't have any money for the brush set. If you can't afford my brush set, like honestly, like don't, don't buy it. You can use the round brush or any of the, like the default uh, Procreate brushes just as well. Just don't let that be the reason why you don't do painting.
Jocelyn Geiger Art is saying, I just want to say thank you for doing these streams. I know you, they can be stressful. Yes, they are. They're less stressful now. I've done so many of them, uh, but they're still stressful. Uh, but they always help me get started painting, even when I don't want to. <laughs> it's nice to hear. This area is just like a mess right now. Let's sort that stuff. Big smooches for Vivi. <laughs> Vivi has been very active lately when there's so much snow. 
I guess one of the reasons might be not just her age, but also that there's so much snow here that she can see as well as normally, because everywhere she's looking, like the horizon must be like completely white. Then that's probably a reason why she's so alert all the time, because she can only um, hear things very well with her big ears. But she's keeping me very well notified of any approaching people, cars, snowflakes, gusts of wind. Very effectively. I'm gonna apply this texture to the whole thing at the end, but I'm not gonna just use the texture like this. I'm gonna actually edit it so that it makes sense with this specific painting. Maybe some selfies would be fun. Very tiny ones. But for this, I really need to see where I put them. These bright colors will affect the composition. I think these simple shape, shapes are really something that anybody could do. Just the matter of doing it. I really need to get a new chair. I'm so... 
can't describe how uncomfortable <laughs> doing these live streams is for my ass. And also, I probably shouldn't describe how uncomfortable it is, because nobody probably cares. <laughs> I need to get one of those gamer chairs. Oh. But honestly, it's such an important choice that for this I probably should read some reviews. This is a long time to sit still. How long have I been here? Like one hour and 20 minutes. It's okay. Every time I think it's going to be a really quick stream, I am humbled by what art has in store for me. <laughs> Not so fast. There are cherry to paint. This is one area where it would be really tempting to go for the smallest uh, brush size. But if I do it, did, for example, uh, these tentacles at the smallest brush size, if you look at it far away, it will look like there's a scratch on your iPhone screen or whatever phone screen. It just doesn't look like it's part of the painting anymore or illustration.
thank you Astrid for answering that question on my behalf. Mikko, how long have you been painting digitally? Uh, that's a really good question. I guess I could maybe... About um, 20 years, but there has been a lot of like traditional painting included in those 20 years. So not exclusively. Don't worry about it, Valiant Apple. These streams will be on my channel after it's done processing. Usually it takes some time, but that's uh, up to Google's servers. One weird thing that I noticed when I started this stream is that they have changed the settings so that they always refer, refer to a state where by default the chat is not enabled. So if I don't go manually in there and check that box every time, there will be no ability for anybody looking at this uh, live stream to write anything. So I think it's weird that they have made that choice. I guess Google has been under a lot of like legal pressure lately for all the advertising and stuff. So maybe they are doing kind of like overkill in some areas where they are trying to protect their platform from legal trouble. It results into some usability issues for the creators. Obviously, this is not a scene happening in the ocean. I guess like this plant, it reminds me of one plant that uh, produces air bubbles in Subnautica.
putting on the nails the wrong way. Oops. It's a vertical painting. <laughs> Does that answer the question, Jacob?
is way darker than I thought it would be. Like this. Nope. What if I do this? But no. Or capacity might work. Getting really hard to judge uh, brush sizes. Um, can anyone help me figure out why I can't actually tag usernames to reply comments? Um, that's what I'm sometimes wondering on YouTube, if anybody can uh, answer that, that would be appreciated. I don't know how that works either. I needed to separate the layer because it's on half opacity. Damn it, it's not... Apparently, half opacity layer interprets uh, the background as white and blends the color with the received whiteness of the background when you're color picking it. Which to me is not an intuitive way to do it. It might look like that color, but if it's on a half opacity layer on top of nothing, then I think it should put the color the way the isolation of layers works in Procreate as opposed to Photoshop because in Photoshop you can isolate the layer the same way by like alt clicking the layer but once you do one single thing more or add another layer it can't remember to get back to that other mode where you had which layers on and off and when working on huge uh, documents can be a huge headache and a time waster.
capital it's at and type your first two letters. Does it like order field then, the username in the chat? That doesn't sound too difficult. Hey, what's your least favorite animal? Hmm. That's a difficult question. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, geckos. I can. I have a gecko phobia. If they went extinct right now, I would not care. <laughs> When I was uh, younger and living in Nicaragua, they were just everywhere. Just hated it there because of the geckos. Sort of like children's illustration by with the texture that I wanted to have. Now I'm gonna unlock this layer because I locked it so that I wouldn't accidentally paint on it. Duplicate and I set this to normal mode so that I can see what I'm doing. 
and on this layer I'm gonna make this um, green layer no a light, lighter layer so I'm gonna take out all of those darker areas with curves But uh, I didn't want to keep that on all the time. is definitely enough for anybody uh, just to reply to that comment um, this is darling the color palette is right up my alley I'm glad I hopped onto YouTube this morning and we finally caught one of your live streams live we watched you paint while eating breakfast. <laughs> that sounds nice. I love breakfast. Whenever I visit a hotel, it's a favorite thing. My stay, eating bre hotel breakfast. What was I doing? I had some kind of a plan. Yes, for the waves. <laughs> Complete brain freeze. want to do like more realistic paintings and this I think it's really helpful to do this sort of like um, illustration style that is more free every now and then because it really helps uh, defining shapes and just reduces everything to these sort of like graphical marks and that can be very useful for doing any kind of compositions in any style.
what I'm doing here is like not really making a realistic water surface. I'm just trying to capture that like feeling that I have when I'm looking at the surface from underneath the water. And just trying to do it. That sort of like side like um, feeling of wonder. How to describe it. But it's fun. It's really fun. It's probably my favorite part of the illustration so far. And to me it looks like how I want it to feel. It's, I don't know if that sentence makes any sense. I usually don't change my own wallpapers that often. I was just thinking that maybe I want to have this on my lock screen for now. Um, no. It's silly, and that's why I like it. I guess because I'm in that sort of a phase where I just sent a batch of new sketches for uh, the last client in this month. And I can't really continue working before they give me some sort of like direction of like which sketch to go with because I just can't be sending <laughs> all of them at once. So now I have this sort of like rare in between moment between those email exchanges where I, I really don't have anything on my plate tonight, right at this moment. So, for once, I don't have work stress, <laughs> and it's wonderful. That's a great feeling. I was just saying to my boyfriend, um, I, I guess yesterday, that the one good thing that I can say about freelance work so far, as opposed to like having a day job, is that it's expensive and I don't recommend it if anybody is starting out to do this. But if you really want to have all of your work done, you can just put a stop to like getting new commissions and work through the ones that you already have. And then eventually you will have everything done where in a normal day job there was always something that would come the next thing and the next thing and the next thing after that and you never get this dance for a break. 
and even when you are on a Christmas vacation, you think that what has happened while I'm gone is the project completely cancelled or whatever. I do some uh, light color editing since I don't know it's only two hours. I don't want to make this the longest stream ever. But... Oh, no, 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 Let me not that here, please. I'm thinking of um, also the reason why I wanted to do an underwater painting for the wallpaper pack is because um, so many of them have a lot of sky because many of my paintings they aren't like these sort of like tall vertical paintings so most of my paintings I have continued upwards instead of downwards as uh, below the main subject there would usually be just ground or something that I don't think would be as interesting, so I'm thinking of maybe calling the whole brush back a uh, skyboard. So I wanted to make this to have a bit of like a variety in the whole thing because there are a lot of clouds. And the reason why I have made that choice is because um, a lot of the wallpapers they are kind of bottom heavy because I wanted to give people the option if they want to like for example sort their applications to the top of the screen so that it would be kind of like in balance with the composition because some people have this sort of like minimalist um, app configurations on their phones not everybody but I just wanted to have that option in there as well I guess I still have about 10 paintings to go before everything is done for the 
wallpaper back. It's been a lot more work than I thought, and this is the one thing that I thought that this is going to be a fun little project in between uh, all the commissions. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm just like spinning still because it's pretty much done. I don't want to ruin it. I will do color edits later to make sure that it looks good on the phone screen, but now I need to realize that I'm not helping anymore. <clears throat> uh, thank you for everybody to joining this stream. I think this is the first stream of 2021. If I'm right, the last time that I was like 100% set up and ready to go to stream, then uh, the world standard started to end. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that maybe this is not a good time, but I hope everybody is staying safe and is healthy. And I'm looking forward to all the new live streams this year. Uh, thanks for joining this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, if you have any specific like um, requests on which paintings you would like to be included in my wallpaper pack, because I'm making this for everybody, please uh, put those requests in the descriptions below, or I mean comments below, and then I can consider it. I still have some time if there are some paintings that would be a good fit for it. But remember that if something is like a very horizontal landscape painting, then it's probably not a great fit to be turned into a wallpaper. So <laughs> uh, also sometimes it's interesting to see what's outside of the painting as we see it. And those are fun to paint. Okay, I'm gonna go now and stop babbling. Bye.